The third day of construction camp, Darlene Spracklin, one of the project managers, took me to see damages from the flood. Even today, as you look around, there are still issues. It's a big decision to make if you're going to move back to a neighborhood like this. Like if you're the, the whole place was flooded, devastated every structure here. And do you come back? Are you the first one to rebuild? Do you reinvest your money here? This is where the levee broke after Hurricane Katrina, washing away lives and homes in an instant with water traveling at 400 kilometers per hour. This building is designed to reduce water levels next to the levee. I spoke with geomatics instructor Alvin Hayes, who told me about plans to renovate and rebuild some homes. What we're doing here today, we're at one of the properties here in New Orleans. Um, this home, this particular home, was damaged extensively by water damage from the effects of Katrina. Uh, what we have is the Broadmoor uh, Development Corporation has about seven applicants, and they've asked us to look at some of these houses and get architectural drawings for them. One of the things they're doing with these homes is trying to rehabilitate or refurbish the property. Uh, I was talking with one of the uh, commission's uh, agents yesterday and they explained that the people who own this house are applying for a grant and aid. CNA students took measurements to create a floor plan for one of the many homes on the list to be redone. For College of the North Atlantic, I'm Gage Miranda.